In this video, we're going to talk about Apple AirPods Pro 2 and their new built-in hearing aid feature versus the other hearing aid options on the market, specifically the over-the-counter products on the market like Sony CRAC20, Sennheiser All Day Clear, and the new Nuance Audio glasses. As a hearing aid wearer, I've spent time using AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids, and of course, I've tried almost everything else on the market. So I'm going to break down the pros, the cons, how to think about this product, where it fits in my toolkit, and how I think it fits into the overall hearing health landscape. If we haven't yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. We're one of the leading destinations for hearing health research and shopping in the United States. If you like what you see in this video, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. It helps this video reach more people. With that, let's dig in. So anytime I'm talking about AirPods Pro 2 and the fact that they have a proper FDA approved hearing aid functionality inside of their devices, it gives me a moment to realize how quickly the hearing health landscape has evolved. If you rewind the clock just five years ago, there really weren't any consumer brands in hearing health. You didn't have Sony, Sennheiser, and you certainly did not have Apple all participating in helping people hear better, specifically people who have hearing loss. And I love to see how this topic has gone mainstream, but it does mean that as a consumer, you have a few more choices and ultimately you need to do more research to figure out what works and what doesn't and what you need in your hearing health toolkit. So before I dig into the comparison of AirPods Pro 2 versus hearing aids and over-the-counter hearing aids specifically, let me just give you some quick background on how Apple entered into this space. It all starts with this product, AirPods Pro 2. So Apple has several different AirPods models. This is the noise canceling version of their headphones. So it's the chunkiest and the most expensive on their lines, their pro model. So if you're looking at the AirPods available, make sure you get the AirPods Pro 2. That's the only one that has hearing health functionality built in. We have a full review of how you can turn your AirPods Pro 2 into a pair of OTC hearing aids, which I will link up here. But the short version is that you take a quick test through your iPhone, that then programs your AirPods Pro 2 to match your particular hearing loss. And then both the outside world sound when you're in transparency mode and the stream sound when you're listening to music or podcasts adjusts to match your particular hearing loss. AirPods Pro 2 is around $250 a pair and is obviously a great pair of headphones in addition to all of its hearing health benefits. So for a lot of reasons, I am very happy to own a pair of AirPods Pro 2. I use them all the time. And many of our customers at Soundly.com also talk about how they use this product regularly, typically as an augmentation to their traditional hearing aids. But let's assume for a minute that you're in research mode. Maybe you've just realized you need some hearing help, or maybe you're looking for an upgraded pair after having something else for a number of years, and you're just trying to get a lay of the land. What is out there and what's really good? What should you try? So you might be trying to understand what's different about AirPods Pro 2 and some of the other over-the-counter hearing aids on the market. So let's start there. I really think about these two products almost in entirely different categories. AirPods Pro 2 obviously makes a great earbud. The first and most obvious difference between AirPods Pro 2 and most of the OTC leaders on the market is form factor. So AirPods Pro 2 is an earbud design. You're familiar with it. You may already own it or have it in your home. You've certainly seen it out in public. Alternatively, over-the-counter hearing aids, the leaders in the market come in a handful of different form factors that provide a few different benefits. So one example is the Nuance Audio glasses which are actually hearing aids and glasses in one. They have an open ear speaker that plays amplified sound down into your ear and an array of microphones that tracks your head movement. So it captures the sound wherever you're looking. So this is a unique form factor on the market. Then you have something like Sony CREC20, which is an invisible style design. So it goes all the way into your ear. An AirPods Pro 2 device is going to sit outside of your ear and be very visible. Whereas C20 will go all the way into the ear canal. Most people are not going to notice it's there. And then you have the most common hearing aid style, which is a behind the ear hearing aid. So this piece sits behind the ear, a little wire that goes up over the top of the ear, comes into the ear canal and plays amplified sounds. So this is the most common form factor for both over-the-counter and prescription hearing aids. So as you're thinking about your options on the market, style and form factor is going to be one really important 
difference to consider, but there are a handful of other differences to know as well. The first one is comfort. All of these over-the-counter products are more comfortable for long-term wear than AirPods Pro 2. If you've worn a pair of heavy earbuds, you'll know that there's only a certain amount of time that you can wear that product without it starting to feel uncomfortable, maybe aggravating your ears, even if you change out the ear tips. In my case, I can wear AirPods for about an hour and a half, and then I feel I need to take them out, give my ears a break, then I can put them in again later. Typically, that's about the length of a good podcast or a phone call, and that's exactly how I use my AirPods Pro too. I use them for media streaming and phone calls, but anytime I'm in a social situation or with other people, I'm using a purpose-built hearing device, which is more comfortable for long stretches of wear. If I'm at a party for three or four hours, I'm not going to wear my AirPods, both for aesthetic reasons and also for comfort. Another key difference between purpose built hearing aids and an AirPod product is battery life. I can get about four and a half hours out of my AirPods Pro 2, which is great for a pair of earbuds, but it's much less than what you'd find in a traditional hearing aid form factor. So Sony has a 28 hour battery life on a single charge and Sennheiser has an 18 hour battery life on a single charge. So both are meant for long stretches of wear or even all day wear. The next key difference between AirPods and hearing aids is the sound quality. Now, AirPods has done a really good job of offering some solid sound features for the price and for the versatility of the product. The fact that you can get a pair of earbuds that is fantastic at music and calls, but also gives you decent outside world sound is really impressive to me. Still, if you compare AirPods to an over-the-counter hearing aid like Sennheiser All Day Clear or prescription hearing aids that you would get in a local clinic, it's really not even close. There's more distortion that you'll hear as AirPods are trying to clean up the sound and reproduce it into your ears. Part of that is because of the fit. AirPods fit so tightly into your ears that they have to recreate the entire soundscape, whereas a behind-ear hearing aid allows some natural sound in and can simply augment that. That's even more dramatic when you look at something like Nuance Audio, which doesn't even put anything into the ears and is just giving you that boost. So what I find is that if I'm in background noise or really any complicated sound scenario, AirPods Pro 2 begins to break down pretty quickly. What it does work for is if I'm traveling and I simply want to pinch the arm of my AirPods and talk to someone for a moment and then go back to streaming, or if I'm at home listening to a podcast and maybe I'm thinking my daughter is going to say something to me in the other room, I want to be able to hear that, but I'm mostly focused on my streaming experience. That's how I end up using my AirPods Pro 2 as compared to traditional hearing aids. The final point of comparison is aesthetic. Now, there are two different ways to think about this. On one hand, if you wear AirPods Pro 2, literally no one will know that you're wearing hearing aids. This is a very common product. It's in millions of homes all over America. People of all ages and personal styles wear AirPods Pro 2. So it blends in in that way. But on the other hand, if you're in a social situation and you're wearing AirPods Pro 2, you almost certainly need to say something to the person that you're with, letting them know that you are hearing them, that you're listening through an amplified device and it's actually helping you engage in conversation. In my case, when I'm wearing AirPods and I'm not in a quick type conversation like during travel, I find that I'm explaining to someone that I'm wearing this as a hearing device and I'm actually fully with them, not listening to a podcast or on a phone call. All right, so those are some of the key differences or considerations if you're thinking about whether AirPods or OTC hearing aids are your single choice for hearing. You're probably picking up that if you had to choose just one for hearing support, it's probably best to go with a purpose-built hearing aid. Now, that said, I wear my AirPods Pro 2 all the time, and that is because I love the customized Bluetooth. So the sound that's coming to me from a podcast or music is adjusting to my individual hearing loss. That's not available on a lot of headphones, and it's something that I really rely on, especially when I'm listening to spoken words like podcasts, and I want to hear the banter in the back and forth. AirPods Pro 2 are amazing at this. A couple other things that I love about Apple's AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids. The first is the user experience. So when you go to set up these devices using your smartphone, the app experience is really smooth, just like what you would normally expect from Apple. They're amazing at building software and hardware and the way that these two things connect feels seamless. You can take a photo of your audiogram actually and upload it, or you can take a test on board both really great features and make things really simple to set up. So I love that. I also love the price. The fact that this is $250 and effectively operates as a starter hearing aid and also a great pair of headphones just offers a lot of value for users. So if you're sitting there and you're saying, well, what do I do? Should I go with AirPods or should I go with more traditional hearing aids? The short answer is you may end up wanting to do both. AirPods Pro 2 is an amazing tool to have in your tool belt. It's going to help you hear stream sounds and outside world sounds in certain situations really well. 
Hearing aids are also going to help you when you're in social settings. So what many of our customers end up reporting is that they're getting AirPods Pro 2 for their streaming needs and for phone calls and in some certain listening situations. And then they're using a pair of purpose-built hearing aids for anything social, more dynamic, or where they need to wear the devices for a longer period of time. If I were to start over from scratch and rebuild the stack of tools that I have in my tool belt, it's probably exactly what I'd do. I'd go with a pair of traditional hearing aids, probably behind the ear, because I find they're very comfortable for long-term wear. I tend to wear my hearing aids for 10, 12, 14 hours a day. And then I would get a pair of AirPods Pro 2 and use them for phone calls and streaming and perhaps in travel or other situations where I simply just need to communicate for a moment or two and then I go back to my streaming experience. If you've tried the hearing aid functionality inside of AirPods or you've compared them side by side with hearing aids, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, you can drop down, ask us in the comments, or you can head over to soundly.com where we're happy to answer your questions about all things hearing health. Thanks for your time and good luck with your research.